My orders are to observe the ruin, not help you mount a suicidal rescue mission. Then you can observe me kicking every fetching cultist's ass standing between me and my little brother. Who are you? Another of these useless Leowin layabouts? No, you're an adventurer like me. Don't tell me, Zigira roped you into this mess too. My little brother and I answered a job posting seeking adventurers to help explore a newly discovered ruin. Only once the expedition got underway and we were all split up, our employers turned on us. I barely got away. Free my little brother and the others before something terrible befalls them? I don't know if I can do this on my own, but I have to try. Can I count on your help? Well, were all the questions just morbid curiosity? I can pay if I have to. There were five, in addition to me, who got duped into this. My brother, Liam, Eolaf, a Nord warrior, Adia, a high elf researcher, Dejos, an Argonian scout, and Garlor, a wood elf adventurer. Other than my brother, I don't know a lot about them. Not much. Zagira, the woman who hired us, was charming. I didn't buy a story that her expedition was for study, but she paid half our fee up front. I figured they were just treasure hunters looking for plunder. We had no idea they were a cult. About the time they said, don't kill her, we need her for the ritual while trying to wrestle me to the ground. Probably saved my life, though. I fought twice as hard knowing they were taking it easy on me. No one else escaped that I know of. We didn't get far with our expedition before things went sour, but the ruin was in pretty bad shape. You'll need a grapple bow to get anywhere quickly. Fortunately, I have a spare. They're simple enough to use, if you've never tried one. Just line up your sights with a suitable anchor point, release the bolt, and get ready to fly. Don't worry, they're pretty much designed to do all the work. The worst you'll have to worry about is underestimating the pull and spraining your neck. to reach the base camp, but be careful. I saw a lot more cultists during my escape than the ones who led me here. It wasn't like this before. We should have the bridges out, but that support looks sturdy enough for the grapple bow. The base camp should be. Eolof! What are those fetchers doing to him? That's 
Yoloth. One of the other adventurers Zagira duped with a setup. They've got him strung up like a new life pony gua. Survey stones my ashy ass. That's a sacrifice if I've ever seen one. We've got to do something. Zagira had us escorting her scholars around the area to place those so-called survey stones. Supposedly, they would get the layout of this place in an instant. Bunch of guadung, clearly. It's sucking the life out of him. I damn well plan to try. It'll be dangerous, though. For Eolaf, most of all. That ritual is already feeding off of him somehow. The sudden shock of destroying the stone might kill him. We could try weakening the ritual before ending it entirely. That array by Yolaf seems to be the heart of the ritual, but the magic is being drawn to another focal point nearby. Destroying that might lighten the load on Yolaf and the backlash of ending the ritual by force. It's the best chance of saving him. We need to stop that ritual. The sooner the better, but Yolaf's chances of surviving go up exponentially if we try picking it apart carefully instead of smashing the central ray right at the start. The grapple bow should help us search around. I don't know it. I'm making an educated guess. Daedrology is my main field of study, though they tend to avoid getting caught up in their worship and rituals. Mostly, I'm fascinated why anyone would join these fetching cults in the first place. I took an interest in the anticipations of the Tribunal and my ancestors' worship of them before the Three rose to Godhood. Dark Elves aren't the only ones who revere Daedra alongside Divines, but now's not the time for a philosophical discussion. afraid would happen. The strain of snapping that connection to his soul was too much to take. If we aren't more careful, the others will meet the same fate. It was definitely a Daedric ritual, but not your typical sacrifice. Offerings to the princes are usually quick and brutal. This was much more purposeful. I don't know what they were trying to accomplish, but they were using your lost soul to power it. The Swits didn't tell us much of their plans before stabbing us in the back, but I've got a rough idea where they were taking the other stones. If we head out the other side of these corridors, we should be on the right path. <laughs> 